In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new Ether wallet with MuConnect. I'll then show you how you can buy Ethereum with MuConnect, how you can then back up your wallet, and how you can connect it to my Ether wallet. If you're wanting to create a wallet for the very first time, or if you're already familiar with my Ether wallet, you may have already seen that one of the recommended ways to connect or create that wallet is with MuConnect. But what is it and how do you actually use it? I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. So that you're aware, this video is part one of two videos, and in the second video, I'll show you how to use my Ether Wallet version 5. MuConnect is a no hardware hardware wallet. So, what it allows you to do is keep your private keys in a secure vault on your device. And it's an app that's available on the likes of your App Store or Google Play. It also helps to ensure that you are who you say you are, and fishers who are well known for trying to clone my Ether Wallet will have to fish elsewhere. So how do we get started with MuConnect? Well, the first thing we need to do is download that on our mobile devices. So like I said, you can download that from the App Store or Google Play. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing this all on an iPhone today. So I'm gonna be downloading it from the App Store. So just heading over to my mobile phone, I'm gonna click onto the search button and then type in MuConnect. Okay, and the one that you're looking for here is the MuConnect No Hardware Hardware Wallet, and all you need to do is install that. And once that's ready, you can then press on to open, and it will then launch the app. And once the app's then open, you can then create yourself your new wallet. So you wanna press on to create new wallet. Then we can put in a password. So this will be the password that you're gonna use every single time you wanna access your uh, app. and try and make that obviously as strong as you can. Then you need to type it in again. And just to be aware that there is a no restore password button, so make sure that you do remember this password. So it's now going through and generating my Ethereum address. It's encrypting my private key using my password. And it's saving my encrypted keys to a local secure vault on my device. So now that's all done. I can then press on to start using MuConnect. So now I'm within my dashboard. So what do I have on presently on screen? Well, first of all, where it says that zero ETH, that's obviously my balance. It then tells me the conversion in US dollars and it tells me the current price of ETH. It then provides me with my public Ethereum address. So that's obviously the address that I can use to receive funds. But what's the first thing it asks me to do is it tells me that I need to back up my wallet. So if you lose your device, you will lose your account and all your funds forever. So it's pretty important that you do this. So what I'm gonna do is press on to backup. Okay, and it then states that your Ethereum address and private key are stored in a local secure vault on this device. But what happens if you lose this device? Well, unless you back up your wallet, you will lose your funds forever. So it's really important that we do back up. So what I'm gonna do is press on backup now. Okay, and what we now need to do is we need to get pen and paper so that we can write down our recovery phase. Now, it is really important that you do not store this anywhere online. Obviously, if someone does get access to these words, they can restore your account and they'll have access to all your funds and your assets. So what you need to do is just grab a pen and paper and start writing some of these down. And then prompted with my password, so just ensuring that it is me. Because this is a test account, that's the reason why I can share these with you today and it's not gonna have any funds in it. So I'm now gonna press on to next once I've written those down. Okay, and it's then asking me to confirm those words just to make sure that I've done them all correctly. So it's asked me for the word number four, word number seven, word number 10, and word number 14 and then I can press on to finish in the top right hand corner. 
So it now states that my wallet is now backed up. So protect your recovery phrase, like the millions of dollars that your account might be once worth. So in decentralized world, your safety and security is your responsibility. So do stay safe out there. I'm now gonna press on to done. And what else can we do within the app before we actually go through and scan it? Well, one of the first things we can do is we can actually purchase Ethereum within the app itself. So if I press it onto the top right hand corner where it says buy Ether, in here you have the ability to purchase with a credit card. So you can purchase with a Visa or a MasterCard in here. You can type in the amount that you'd like to purchase in US dollars and it'll do the conversion below in Ethereum. So this is all done with Simplex, and this is an, the approximate fee is already included in the rate that you see here. You then press buy with credit card, and it'll then take you to a checkout. So in what it's asking me to do is just enter in my credit card details. It's obviously giving me that order summary in here as well. I then fill that information out, put in my billing address, put in my personal details, and then I can accept the terms and conditions and press pay now once I'm ready to confirm that. And now I'm just gonna take us back. So from here, what else can we do? Well, we can share our public Ethereum address. So if you do wanna receive funds, you can take your Ethereum address from here. So I'm just gonna press onto where the public Ethereum address is. And now I'm presented with the address. So I can obviously share this to receive Ether or ERC20 tokens because your public Ethereum address is that both the same for your Ether and your ERC20 tokens. So I've now can see that our address is. So I can either scan that for a QR code or I can press on to copy and it'll copy that address or I can press on to share and then I have the ability to share it in different forms that you have available on your phone. I'm just gonna press on to cancel and press on the X. So now if we actually wanna connect that to the likes of my Ether wallet, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head over to my Ether wallet now online. So just heading over to myetherwallet.com now, what I now need to do is I need to access my wallet. So I'm gonna press on to access now. And it asked me how I'd like to connect. So there are different ways that you can connect with my Ether wallet. As I said, this is part one of a part two video and part two will show you the full usability and a full walkthrough of my Ether wallet version five. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Mu Connect because that's how I'm gonna be connecting today. And it then asked me to use my Mu Connect app to scan the QR code above. So I've already got the uh, app, obviously, so I don't need to download it anywhere here. What I'm now gonna do is press on to scan to connect on my mobile device, so that's at the bottom of your screen. So I'm just gonna press on to that. And I now need to allow access to the camera. Okay, it's now creating a local connection with my Ether wallet. It then connects me, so it connects me via P2P. And I'm now connected to my Ether wallet. So from here, I can obviously use my Ether wallet as I usually would for the likes of sending transactions. I can swap or exchange my cryptocurrencies and I can view other information with regards to my Ether wallet. So that was a very brief overview of how you can use Mu Connect to connect to my Ether wallet securely. I'll also put this all into a blog post, so it'll have a step-by-step -step guide, which will be available on my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk. And I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews, and tutorials, then please hit subscribe or head over to my website. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.